This screencast covers the material in Module 4, Lesson 14, where we work with finding area with mixed numbers and a variety of word problems. Um, this is largely based on the homework this time, although I have some from the practice set that directly parallel those from the homework, in which case I'll uh, work out in, in from start to finish uh, those practice set problems and show you how they are similar to the ones in the homework. All right, let's start with this one. George decided to paint a wall with two windows. Both windows are three and a half feet by four and a half foot rectangles. Find the area the paint needs to cover. Well, he has to cover this whole wall, but he doesn't have to paint the windows. So we need to find out what the total area is of this rectangle. Then we need to subtract the area of the two windows. Let's start by finding the area of the wall itself. We'll use the rectangular uh, area model to get started. We have 8 feet by 12 and 7 eighths feet. We'll decompose that. Now we'll multiply 12 times 8. We get a 96. And 8 times 7 eighths is 56 eighths. And we can easily find uh, that out because 56 divided by 8 equals 7. So we are very fortunate that we're ending up with whole numbers here. So we have 96 plus 7 equals 103 feet squared. Now let's find the area of the windows. We could add the two windows and put them side by side. There's one way we could do that. Now I'm, I'm going to do that. So if I have uh, put my three and a half and my three and a half and I kind of move them together, I'm going to have three and a half plus three and a half. That's going to make seven. So I'm going to do that. So I have seven and four and one half. We're going to multiply. Four times seven is twenty-eight. And seven times one half is seven halves, which equals three and one half. Now this is the area for both of the windows put together. I just created a little bit of a shortcut uh, that gave me the ability to work with a whole number as opposed to uh, a fractional value. Again, three and a half plus three and a half is seven. So we made our job a little bit simpler here. Let's finish calculating this. 28 plus 3 and 1 half equals 31 and 1 half. Now we need to subtract. So I have 103 minus 31 and 1 half. We're going to first subtract the holes. So uh, 103 minus 31 equals 72 minus 1 half equals 71 and 1 half. And again, that's square feet. So always look for the opportunities to make your work a little bit easier. We're going to go on to a homework problem that parallels this. All right, we have the same sort of problem here. Mr. Albano wants to paint menus on the wall of the cafe with chalkboard paint. The gray area below shows the rect where the rectangular menus would be. Each of the menus measures six by seven and a half feet tall. I see an opportunity here. I could add the height of all these, right? And that would give me seven and a half plus seven and a half. And seven and a half plus seven and a half is 15. And another seven and a half plus seven and a half is another 15. We have 30. So I think we now have a way to actually find the square feet of menu space uh, for all of these using whole numbers as opposed to fractions. So I let me just demonstrate that. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking all four of these rectangles and turning them into one. Let's show a sketch of what I'm actually doing here. I'm going to take all of these rectangles, and again I repeated that, turn them all into one. So I'm going to kind of stack them up. So I have 
one that is six by seven and a half. I'm going to just put them together. I have seven and a half, seven and one half, seven and seven and one half. And if I combine these values, I end up with a whole number. So now, what do I have? I have a whole number, okay, and that would be 30, and I have a whole number here. So that will give me the total area of square uh, in square feet of the menu space that Mr. Albano has. So that makes it a lot easier. And again, we have to find the area of the uh, wall that is not covered by the chalk uh, board paint. So simply find our area with 25 by 13 and 2 thirds. And then we need to subtract the total square feet of menu space. I hope that makes things easier. It says Joe used square tiles, some of which he cuts into half to make the figure below. If each square tile has a length of two and a half inches, what's the total area of the figure? Well, let's take a look. First of all, we need to look at how many halves we have. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have a total of six halves. And let's look at how many whole uh, tiles we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I have ten whole tiles. Six half tiles equals three whole tiles. So what do I have? I have a total of thirteen whole tiles. So we need to first find the area of each tile, and we have to multiply by 13. Using our area model, 2 and 1 half by 2 and 1 half, and I get a 4, and 2 times 1 half is 1, and 1 half times 2 is 1, and 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. So I have 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 fourth, and that equals 6 and 1 fourth. So I need to find 13 of those. Again, we can use the area model. So I am going to take and make a rectangle. I have 13, and I have 6 and 1 fourth. We're going to decompose that into 6 plus 1 fourth. And 6 times 13 is 78. And 13 times 1 fourth is 13 fourths, which equals 3 and 1 fourth. So now we find the sum. 78 plus 3 and 1 fourth equals 81 and 1 fourth. And that's inches squared. Okay, the homework one here is very similar. Uh, we have Mr. Albano this time. He's making the shape of a dinosaur at the front entrance. He will need to cut some tiles in half to make the figure. If each square tile is four and one-fourth inches on each side, what is the total area? So once again, we need to find out how many half tiles we have here. And each half tile makes one whole tile. Then we have to add the number of whole tiles that we put together from the halves and add them to the whole tiles. Once we find that sum, we are going to find the area of each tile, and just like we did in the previous one, we had uh, two and a half on the practice set, we have four and one fourth here. So once we find that area, we're going to multiply it by the number of whole tiles that we have. Okay, this is strictly from the homework, and it's really very similar to the pr uh, previous problems, except uh, we have a little bit more calculating to do. It says the A-plus class is making windows for a new house that is being built. The box shows the list of sizes they must make. How many square feet of glass will they need? We have 15 windows at 4 and 3 fourths uh, by 3 and 3 fifths. What do we do? We have to find the area of each one of these windows then multiply it by seven or by 15. Then we need to do the same thing with the seven windows here. Find the area 
of the windows. Multiply them by 7. Once we have the total area of 15 windows and 7 windows, we add those to find the sum. Not that complicated, but a lot of computation. And I don't see any simple shortcuts here. All right, last problem from the homework. Mr. Johnson needs to buy seeds for his backyard lawn. If the lawn measures 40 and 4 fifths by feet by 50 and 7 eighths feet, how many square feet will he, of seed will he need? Very simple. Again, once again, find that area uh, using the rectangular model or whatever other model that you care to use. The second part is the a little bit of a complication. It says one bag of seed will cover 500 square feet if he sets his seed spreader to its lowest setting and 300 square feet if he sets the spreader to its highest setting. How many bags of seed will he need if he uses the highest setting and the lowest setting? Well we could take that area and divide it by 400 or 300 but I think it's just as easy to make a little table for yourself so we have lowest setting and 1 would be 500, 2 would be 1,000, 3 would be 1,500, and so on down the line. We can do the same with the high, and again 1 would be 300, 2 would cover 600 square feet, and 3 would cover 900 square feet. Again, we'll continue that as far as needed. So what do we need? After we find this volume here, we need to see how many bags will we need to cover that number of square feet. And of course you don't want a number lower than the area because you won't quite have enough seed. So think about uh, what number you're going to use. Work these out until you have a number, uh, a pair of numbers that are one is higher and one is lower than the actual area here. And do a little bit of thinking. It's not that complicated.